All right, welcome to my second DPS video. This is uh, Bastion. He's kind of a unique character in the fact that he is uh, <laughs> the only character that can become completely immobile. He just sits here, turns into a turret with his left shift. Does insane damage. Has 300 rounds, so if I just sit here and does his right click. If I just sit here and hold it down. It's pretty decent. When you transform and transform back. I think you have to be untransformed for a few seconds. It'll give you your ammo back. Yeah. Um, his right click is a heal that he can use while moving around. He has a passive called Ironclad, which reduces the damage he takes while transformed, which also includes his uh, ultimate ability, which I'll show you. So this is his sentry mode. He doesn't have any spray. Or I guess he does. Just very, very slight. It's pretty accurate. Um, his sentry mode, or his uh, turret mode, is it called turret? Okay, sentry is the turret, recon is when he is walking around. So this is recon mode. This is sentry. This is sentry mode. I'll show you how this does against a, an opponent that's a little bit further away. Still really good. Kind of crazy, actually. And then his ultimate ability, he turns into a tank. He can use it to bounce himself up. He can heal himself while in tank form. He only gets, I think, a few shots. Does a ton of damage. As well as... Uh, I think it one-shots anybody who's uh, below 300 life. I could be wrong, but... It's either 200 or 300, so... He builds ult pretty quick. Obviously, these are against bots, but... Where Bastion excels is he is in a uh, choke point. So if the team has to come through here, he can just stop them from using their shields. Breaking their shields, like, instantaneously. And... Um, Yeah. He's fairly niche. He's not exactly a character that you're going to use all the time. I mean, you could, but he has some fairly glaring weaknesses. Being immobile is not very good. Like, oh, if they have a far, she can shoot you with rockets from super far away. If they have a sniper, same thing. Hanzo, Junkrat, uh, Widowmaker, um... Vara, pretty much anybody. As long as you're not behind like a wall or a shield, and they can see you, they're going to be hitting you. So what you want as Bastion is to have really tight, like, confrontation. So like, make it so that they can't see you from really far away. So like a good spot for him would be like, let's say this is a choke point, and they have to come through this doorway. You could just sit like right here or like right here so as soon as they come in you just blast them his ult makes it so that if you can um, hit with the projectiles accurately it's really strong so I know for a fact that his his missiles do at least 200 damage because these robots have 200 so 
think it's 300 though. I don't know why, but that's what I'm leaning towards. His self-repair is also pretty good. He can heal himself, but he can't shoot while he's repairing himself. So He's a fairly simple character. He's fun to play, but he's not good in a lot of situations. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Who is Bastion good against? He's good against barriers. He shreds barriers. Um, he's amazing against tanks because when he's in this form, they're just going to get hit by every pellet and they're going to die super fast. Who is he bad against? He's bad against Ana. He's bad against, like I said, pretty much anybody who can hit him from far away. The reason I say Ana is because he can be slept. He can be anti-healed. Um, Zenyatta is really good against him. He puts Discord on him and charges up his right click. He's going to hit you for a ton of damage. So, uh, Anything else? Widowmaker, Hanzo, Junkrat, Farah. Even Batiste. Batiste does enough damage to make you have to move. Um, there's not really any tanks that are good against him, though. He's pretty good against all the tanks, except for maybe Orisa. And D.Va, I would say D.Va is the tank that um, deals the best with him because her right click eats all of those projectiles. It doesn't have a life pool. And Reinhardt's shield is the only one that will last any significant amount of time at all. Um, Sigma, I would say his little projectile eater thing is also pretty good against him. But again, not amazing. That's pretty much it for this video. That's everything that I know about Bastion in a nutshell. He's a fun character to play. He's just <laughs> very simple and something that uh, you probably won't see a lot of in a lot of your games. So, But anyway, thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, please uh, like my video. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe. And if you have any suggestions or anything, put them in the comments or just anything you want me to know. So, uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.